If you like our videos, consider checking out our Patreon. <laughs>
pretty much everything, right? Yeah. But then it cuts to her confronting Kevin in the library. Hello, Kim. What's happening? Not much. What are you doing? I'm just trying to finish this chapter before the bell rings. You're awfully cold. You know, I thought we had a thing going. We had a no thing. I just put up with you for a while, that's all. Is that right? Well, two years is a long while. Aw, oh, come on. You've got to be kidding if what you thought we had was permanent. It starts off with them talking about her grades and her being stupid. Of course, you are dumb, aren't you? You know, I heard about your grades. You probably won't even graduate. I don't deserve that, Kevin. And yeah, then... Yeah, he's pretty harsh about it. You know, he's not holding back shit. Yeah. You're, like, you're fucking stupid. And then he goes on to talk <laughs> about, like, Annette and the dance that right. they're going to here. Hey, listen, about that dance Saturday night, are we still going? Well, I don't know about you, but Annette and I are going in style. I'll check you later. So they are going to a dance, right? Like, a, you would assume, like, okay, a school, school dance. dance. Yeah. But we'll get into that a little bit. Yeah, That's what you'd think. Yeah, yeah. That's normal. Right? So I usually work. What do I know? So blah blah fucking blah. We cut to Kim and her mother having another argument. And this is fucking amazing. So Kim's mother, like, you know, says some disparaging shit about her dad. Right. Look at you, you're always in that rag. Really, Kim, what do you expect me to wear around the house? An evening gown? Or maybe one of the minks your father left me? <laughs> so Kim says this. Don't joke about daddy. No wonder he couldn't stand it here. You could have looked decent once in a while, instead of worrying about dirt and dust and greasy buildups. Maybe then you wouldn't have driven Daddy away. And then, oh my God, I, I just, I just gotta play this fucking line. It's fucking great. And maybe Daddy wouldn't have had to kill himself because he couldn't get it up anymore. What well, the greatest part about that was the music after she fucking said it. She's the disco like, music kicks like, in. Ah, hey, Dad can't get a boat in no more. It was like a bad da 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 da. Dude, the, like, yes! the music cues in this fucking movie are fucking amazing. Like every yeah. time the music cuts in on a scene, great. Right. Not related to the movie much, but no. great. But great. Oh, speaking of great, it cuts from that straight into like a disco fucking dancing scene, right? There's all these people dancing in this disco. And I guess this is that school dance. But also, I love how the disco is obviously, by looking around, a Mexican restaurant. Or what? It's until they were like, hey, we need this building. They're like, okay, you can have it for right now. Yeah. You know. And let them use it. But it's obviously, look at the walls and like the way everything's fucking set up. It is obviously. A Mexican restaurant. Right. Not part of the school, apparently. But whatever. People are, uh... Dancing for fucking ever! I mean, there's like... They're doing the changa. There's all like, kinds of fucking... I, 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 it's so funny watching, uh, the, you know, watching white people dance. The holly dance is just like flop around in the 80s. is flop. That's what they do. 1970s. You know? 1970s. Late well, 70s. it's close to the 80s, you know? It's getting there. It's not like they really evolved. You know, their dancing routines, they still flop. So blah blah fucking blah, Kim and Kmart Clemmy from Reno 911 here. Right, right. They go up to Tony to get drugs. And Tony's this dude in his camper van and he's yeah. like Tony has a, seems legit. He has a John Waters mustache and some gray <laughs> hair kicking. He's got a little and, bit of, a, a tiny bit of uh, Kevin Bacon in there. But also he looks like that one dude hey. from that uh, zebra corner. You know, it's always doing those I can't remember his fucking mock from Zebra Corner. Shout out to them. But, like, yeah, he sounds just like that fucker. But, yeah, whatever, like, you know, they're still outside the van and they're just yelling this conversation across this parking lot or whatever. You got any stuff on you? Is Raquel Welch stacked? I mean, the good stuff, not the shit you sold me the last time. Oh, this is a new shipment. Good stuff. Why don't you get in and we'll uh, talk price? We'll talk price right out here. Come on, I can't do business like this out in the open. Besides, you want to see what you're getting, don't you? Okay, but strictly business, right? Oh yeah, I'm all business. And then Kim finally decides, fine, fuck it, I'll go inside the van to get the pot. So, so Tony's she's like sitting there fingering it and shit. Yeah. Good, huh? Yeah, a 
Okay. How much? Well, that, um, depends. Business, Tony, right? What, is Kevin the only one good enough to make it with you? Huh? I guess he is the only dude you ever made it with. Tony sells her, like, wants to sell her a 20 bag, and he's like, freak it out, like, his $20 is so much fucking money. The grass, Tony, how much? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? What do you think I am, the late Howard Hughes or something? It's 20 bucks, baby, now. End of conversation. Dude, I would love that. I'd be like, $20? Oh, thank God. Yes. So we cut from that to Kim and Kmart Clemmy smoking a bong. Do you mind if I have a drink? No, I don't mind. Hey, but why drink when you've got this? That stuff isn't doing anything. Maybe a drink will help. I uh, hope you don't get mad at me. But you are acting a little weird tonight. And they're talking about Kevin and all that kind of shit. It's Kevin. Now, I know that it's Kevin. So why don't you just come right out and admit it? Look, Lucy, I don't give a fuck about Kevin. He only split because he couldn't give me all I wanted and his poor male ego got bruised. Kevin's a prick and I don't want to see him anymore again. Never! And then Kim talks about how she's going to change her fucking life and all that shit. Right. I'm going to be a new woman. Right now, I'm flunking out of half my classes, right? No more. I'm gonna get the highest grades, and studying isn't gonna have anything to do with it. And I got no money, right? I'm gonna have money. And I'm gonna get them both the nicest fucking way I know. You know, we've seen Kevin. He's not that great. I don't know all the fuss about Kevin. But Kim, the way she's going to change it, she's going to get the highest grades and make money the only way she knows how, by fucking. So basically, she is going to become a student hooker. Yep, student hooker. That's where this movie's going. <laughs> she has a drink after smoking the bong and she passes out and has a nightmare. For a second. Has a nightmare of finding her fucking dad hanging and it is fucking amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. Oh my god, it was like, hey! So there's All you because Dad couldn't get rock solid anymore. So she wakes up, and fucking Kmart Clemmy fucking gives her shit about still feeling paid after 20 years, 8 years, no, 2 fucking years. 2 years. Like, oh yeah, let me just get over all that. I'm gonna have all the things my dad couldn't. Oh Christ. You're still stuck on your dad? Jesus, it's been nearly two years. Why don't you let go? So we cut to the next morning with Kim getting ready for school with her normal routine of bare boobs and brushing hair. Bare boobs, bro. <laughs> brushing bare boobs. <laughs> You're like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's just her morning routine, brushing bare boobs. They're like, brushing bare boobs? Like, not bare boobs, but brushing. So, you know how Kim was changing her life by becoming a student hooker? I do bare boobs brushing, so I don't see the big deal. Okay, but Kim changed her life, becoming a student hooker. She gets a new look, you know, mini skirt and fucking like weird top thing. And she goes out and mom gives her fucking shit about it. You're not going to school like that, I hope. Why not? Well, for one thing, they'd send you home. Don't you know there are no dress codes anymore? Well, I don't care. This is ridiculous. Now you march right back to your room and change. Look, mom. I'm 18 years old, and I can do whatever I want. So just get off my case, okay? And then blah, blah, fucking blah. At school, Mr. Donaldson or whatever gives her fucking shit about her look and all that kind of fucking stuff. What's the idea coming to class dressed like that? I had nothing else to wear. Don't tell me that, Kim. I know better than that. What's wrong with it? You disrupted the class, that's what's wrong with it. There were more eyes on you than there were on the blackboard. That's so terrible. He's like, that's inappropriate there. You're, you're distracting my class with your titties and ass. And she was like, don't you like it, Mr. Donaldson? So she tries seducing him, and he's like, no. I was hoping I'd turn you on a little, Mr. Donaldson. What? I dress this way just for you. Don't you know you're my favorite teacher, Mr. Donaldson, and I've always had a thing for you? What's the meaning of this? 
I think you better get out of here. And then she's like, go meet me at High Point. If you're interested, I'll be at High Point. I'm not interested. Think about it, huh? High Point. I'll be there. Alone. And he's like, no! He keeps saying no, and she's like, okay, well, I'll be up there in about two, daddy, loot. And he's like, He's like, get out of here, Kim. Get out of here quick. I'm getting the hard on. And so you know. Kim leaves and ends right. up in the parking lot where her and Kevin's new girlfriend and Matt right. have a fight. Well, first they bitch at each other. Come on, Kevin, let's go. Can't you get your eyes off of that slut? That's right, Kevin. You'd better hurry up before she takes away your allowance. What did you call me? You're nothing but a cheap slut. Bitch, at least I don't have to pay for it. You couldn't afford to, dearie. Let me know if you need a loan. But then the Ashley comes to brawl. Shit. So anyway, I'm just gonna let this fucking play. Dude, fucking Kim laid the fucking smackdown. Like, From like three feet away. And yeah, it didn't even she, come at she went like, but and like the force of the hit that didn't even hit her knocked her back. But dude, there's just something about late 70s fucking cardboard acting that is great. Because, you know, it ha there's like yeah. a certain thing about it, like how the 50s had their style of acting and it went bad movies. Oh. The 50s has their own style of cardboard, stiff fucking acting. Big time. And it is great. It is. Blah, blah, fucking blah. Moving on from that, Kim goes to talk to Tony about becoming a hooker. Like a real honest to God hooker. Hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. What's this all about anyway? I decided I want to make some money. I want to talk business with you. Oh, so you're gonna finally make that hot body of yours pay off, huh? Dynamite. Tony, go talk to Tony. You want to be a hooker? Go talk to Tony. I feel like anybody of any kind of shadiness, but of high-powered shadiness, it had to be named Tony. Yeah. Go talk to Tony. <laughs> you know what I mean? It have to be. I wouldn't accept it otherwise. If I was meeting the big boss and I was like, what's his name? And they'd be like, oh, it's uh, Bob. I'm like, no! No! It has to be Tony. I don't want to hear nothing but that. So anyway, it cuts straight from that to <laughs> Mr. Donaldson in a field of fucking flowers meeting Kim. We're like, you just said no like eight times and here you are. I know. To, why, why, why put up that much guard if you're just gonna show up and be like, well then. To I mean, make out and roll fuck. You know, spin right, fuck. With your purple it, With your eyes. speedo on. Oh. So yes, this goes on for quite some time while they're face mush fucking uh, 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 and then they're rolling around and yeah, while fucking music's playing. It's like watching your granddad have sex. But like, <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, so ugh. That happens for yeah. a straight minute. And then we cut to Kim and Tony driving around, and I think they're driving? I don't know. I, it looked like Tony was driving. <laughs> but they're driving around in Tony's van, and I do love the wallpaper and shit in Tony's fucking van. And they're talking about, like, the deal with Kim becoming a hooker and, like, you know, just the basic gist of it. The application. Look, Tony, the girl usually gets 60%, right? That's all I want. Yeah, well, you're getting 40, and that's it. I mean, I'm getting you to business, aren't I? You're using my van, ain't you? What the fuck you want? Okay, 50. What are you, deaf or something? I said 40, 40, 40, 40 for you and 60 for Uncle Tony. You don't like it? You get yourself another business manager. Okay. Only no more rough stuff, huh? And then Tony's like, hey, I need to test out how you're doing your goods or how you're, you know, how you're working it. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> but let's try out the bed. What? Hey, look, honey, I gotta know what your action's like. I mean, if it's no good, I can't sell a bad piece of ass. My action's good, Tony. It's real good. You don't even have to worry about that. Look, honey, when you buy some stuff from me, you sample it first, right? Right? Well, it's the same with me. I mean, I gotta know what your action's like, or the whole fucking deal is off. Oh, let's go in the back. So they go... Let's sample that. Let's so they go back into the back of the van, where the curtains match the wallpaper, and I don't mean her fucking <laughs> bush or anything. I would mean Tony's curtains match the fucking wallpaper in his fucking van. Yeah. And, you know, they fuck. We don't really see it. No. Thank fucking like, God. You know, that's, that's pretty... It's implied. Yeah. 
How would you feel about that if you showed up to, you went to Walmart and they're like, oh, okay, hey, listen, step back in this van, let's complete the application. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then blah, blah, no? fucking blah. Tony introduces Kim to her first trick, Mr. H. Hello there. Hi. This is Mr. H. Why don't you treat him good, okay? Mr. H, 50 bucks. Now, come on up front. Oh, oh of course. Of course. Thank you, Mr. H. Okay, I'm gonna go across the street to the hot dog stand. You guys have a good time, okay? So they go into the van and they fuck. Which way do you want it? I prefer the French way if you don't mind. Sure, why not? Beats the Greek way. And that starts a van fucking montage. Is that not, a not people fucking no, a van. No, no, no. no. A fucking the, in a van montage. Just the transition <laughs> before they, they, them actually stepping into the van. And then the vans are rocking. Type. And then there's a whole huge line of fucking dudes waiting to get in there. No, fuck. To there's, invade there's no the way van. In hell, that I would be standing in that line, fifth in line. You know what I mean? Because you're the one dude at the very end I felt bad for because he's going to have to feel every single nastiness from every other dude. It's not like she's in there with a pressure washer and every time she's done with a guy. You know what I mean? Say, so, ugh. Blah, blah, fucking blah. <laughs> Kim tries to extort Mr. Donaldson. It's like sticking oh. your dick into a bowl of pudding at that point. For an A. The next report cards are about to come out. I want you to know what grade I expect. Expect? What grade do you expect? An A. An A? Well, you really reach for the moon, don't you? I reach for it. And I get it. And he's like, no, you didn't make time for me, so no. You're going to get just what you deserve. You're out of your mind, you know that? You haven't turned in any homework since you've been in this class. You failed every test. You're getting an F, an F for flunk, an F for failure. F for forget it. You'll reconsider. Well, maybe you think so, but that's exactly the grade you're getting. Have you forgot about our little get-together that afternoon at High Point? No, I haven't forgotten. I also haven't forgotten that you haven't had any time for me for the last six weeks. So guess what? She fucking tries blackmailing him and he's like, that won't work. You better think about it, Mr. Donaldson. I mean, you are a married man. So here it comes, huh? Well, I'm way ahead of you, Kim. Nobody knew we were out there together and nobody saw me head in that direction. So please, don't make a fool out of yourself and go to my wife. And then she's like, well, did you forget about your half moon shaped birthmark on your ass? I know, he was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> As Sherlock Holmes would say, Mr. Donaldson, you've lopped out one minor detail. That small detail happens to be the half moon birthmark on the cheek of your ass. I wonder how your wife would feel about me knowing about that, Mr. Donaldson. So I get an A. Right. Then, then she kind of taunts him by saying about how she's failing physics, but she's going to pass physics by fucking her physics teacher. You'll have to excuse me, Mr. Donaldson. I'm headed for my second favorite class, physics. I'm going to pull an A in that class, too. <laughs> so it cuts to physics class, and it's Kmart Bob fucking Newhart, right? And right. she's sitting there trying to seduce Kmart Bob Newhart. I need extra help, Mr. Mooney. Uh, well, I could, um, I could recommend some excellent books. No, I mean personal help. Couldn't we get together after school? Uh, well, I don't think so. Uh, my time is limited. Do you know where High Point is? High Point? Uh, well, yes. Why? I'll meet you there. It's the perfect spot for a little special tutoring. You will be rewarded. Kim, that's out of the question. Completely out of the question. And dude, the whole time I'm sitting there going like, oh God, please don't fuck Kmart Bob Newhart. Please don't fuck well, Kmart Bob Newhart. It cuts the fucking high point where Kim's meeting Kmart Bob Newhart. Dude, I want, there should be a sign up there at high point. Like, this is Kim's pork point. Pork point, that'd be it. Be like, oh, yeah. wow, we're going to pork point. So, blah, blah, fucking blah. Annette's dad, I guess, is some kind of big time businessman. Like, is he a shady businessman? I think. I don't know. But Annette, being the rich, spoiled fucking bitch that she 
is. Right. Wants new earrings. He goes to get money off of Daddy. Oh, that's right, because Dad's sitting there and he... And first off, I left Dad's being a complete dick on the phone. Well, here. Listen, asshole. Get that payment over here and get it over here fast, you understand? Otherwise, you're going to be walking around in crutches in the next couple of months. And then it gets oh, fucking kind of creepy because they kind of... It's, Dude, it's, they lock lip, man. They get in there like, bow! And yeah, and then after that, you know, she's standing there after, looking at him kind of like with like that look in her eye. You know, it was just, it was fucking creepy and weird. It was kind of creepy. Daddy, I need $150. Oh, you do? Yes. Can I have it now? Well, may I ask what it's for? Prepare the most fabulous earrings you ever saw. They're on sale, and I said I'd pick them up today. Well, that seems like a pretty good investment. Let's see. Here's a couple of big ones, huh? And you can keep the chain. But you got to think of me every time you wear them. Oh, Daddy, you're super. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye, baby. Bye-bye. And then it cuts from that to Kevin and Annette smush fucking making out and roll fucking. Ugh. In their underwear. Oh yeah, but they are fucking on a bearskin rug, so that's something. Yeah, that's something. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. You know, not only the bear had to die, then you stuff it, then you pork on top of it. It's like, come on. You know what you do? Rubbing it in? Yeah, look at you. I'm then fucking in it's your like, dead body. How do you? Blah, blah. How do you get like sex juices out of a bearskin rug? You would assume that wouldn't be the easiest thing to clean out. No. But anyway, moving on from that, we up. cut to Kim. Hanging out at a beach, reading or whatnot. When fucking Kmart George W. Bush comes up to her and like kind of like talks to her, like kind of propositions her to like leave Tony and go with him. Hi, Kim. Hi. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Oh. Let me explain. I know Tony. Oh. I saw you with him once, but you didn't see me. Anyway, I know all about you. Oh, you do. Is that good or bad? It's good. Then I take it you want to do business. Yeah, but not the kind you think. You see, I'm in the same business Tony's in, only on a lot bigger and better scale. I do business only with the most important people. I'd like to make you a deal a lot more profitable than the one you have with Tony. Say, I want you to be part of my candle. No. I'm satisfied where I'm at. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't expect you to make a decision right now. Give it some thought. Well, he's like, whenever you're sick of Tony, get a hold of me. His name is Lance. Give me a call when you're sick of Tony. So instantaneously, it cuts to fucking Tony being a fucking dick, right? Because Kim wants more fucking money, and Tony's just being a dick. Totally a young guy count. From now on, Tony, I want more money. He's like, ah, you gotta roll me, huh? Nah. Now comes the time to hold me up, right? No, I, I just think I deserve a bigger cut, that's all. Deserve a bigger cut? You deserve shit. You're lucky to be getting what you're getting. Fucking broads are all alike. You get the taste of a little bread, then you on it all. I don't want it all. I just want a little bit more, that's all. You know, and then he's starting to get physical. Not the what you're gonna get. You're not gonna get another fucking nickel. Oh, you don't like it? Well, then you just get yourself another agent. Get the fuck out of here. Hurry <laughs> up. Yeah, so that's fucking over, and then it cuts to Kim with her new fucking boss, and they're talking about the deal that they're going to have. And I get 60% of the take, right? That's right, baby. And the rates are a hell of a lot higher than what you've been getting from those bums Tony's been fixing you up with. I do business only with the most important people. Sound okay? Sounds fine. He's like, well, I'm gonna sample some of that shit. Yeah, see, man. Is that what I think it is? It is, and it's the best. You wanna try some? Sure. And, uh, maybe afterwards we can get to know each other better, eh? Maybe. Well, he basically does, because they fucking roll fuck. Ugh, it's like watching Casey Kasem. But they're, like, on a bed, so they can't roll around as much. You know, they got to roll this way a little bit, and then they fuck can't roll more. They go, you know. He's got that weird, like, hairy arm thing. Like, you know, like, ugh, he goes down and ugh, ugh. And then he's got the Batman symbol on his back. Yeah, the, the, hair, you know, the, the, fucking... the hair on his back goes out. It's perfect, like the Batman symbol. <laughs> you know what I mean, so we just figured out that that is Thomas Wayne. And then she calls Tony the next morning and tells him to get fucked. Hey, Tony, this is Kim. 
Yeah, I got a message for you, pal. Get fucked. It's not that Batman's parents got killed. It's the fact that his mom was a murderer. Well, we didn't get to that point yet. But she's a hooker. She's student hooker now. Yeah, student hooker. She's student hooker. And, you know, I mean, and, and, and Dad was just, you know, he, well, he just had like a weak moment. You know what I mean? He's like, all right, fell in love with student... Student hooker. So anyway, we cut to fucking later on where Kim, student hooker, is at a new tricks place and he's kind of creepy just like everybody in this movie. We're going to get along very well together. Very well indeed. And then he starts pulling out, like, leg irons and, like, collars and all that shit. Hey, what is all this stuff? Oh. They didn't tell you what to expect. Well, you're in for a big surprise. She definitely wasn't expecting that. No, but he throws her down onto the waterbed. And they tussle on the waterbed for a little bit. Waterbed. And then she fucking grabs the ice pick and stabs him in the Rain fucking back. Bag. She was like, fuck that shit. And he fucking falls over and dies. Because everybody that dies in this movie... Quick. Very quick. He's just like, eh, ah, ugh. Yeah, no fuss, no muss. They're like, eh, I got stabbed. Like, barely halfway in my skin. I die. <laughs> so... Oh, whatever. Blah, blah, fucking blah. Kim talks to Kmart George W. Bush about liking killing fucking dickbag. Oh, she was all about it. What are we gonna do? Hey, look, baby, don't sweat it. I take care of my girls. We just simply get some puppet to take the rap. There's always some fink the boys are trying to get rid of. You know, it's weird. Almost scary. I don't feel bad. I feel almost good about it. For once, I didn't just sit back and get hurt. I struck back. When I think of all the shit I took from Tony, that son of a bitch! He was like, don't worry, I killed all kinds of Iraqis, each man. <laughs> <laughs> so blah blah oh, fucking sorry. blah, Kmart GW buys her a gun! And she's like, what's that?! And he, Wait, uh, he's like, a uh, gun, <laughs> idiot. What the hell is it? What the hell does it look like? It looks like a gun. Is it real? Of course it is. You can't go bumping off people with an ice pick. It's too clumsy. Look, I know well, Kevin said she was shit. stupid. Well, I wouldn't give this bitch a gun. She'd be like, is this the but safety? Boom! Blah, blah. He wants her to kill Tony. I saw the look in your eye yesterday when you talked about Tony. Now you can do both of us a favor. Waste him. You're kidding, of course. No, I'm not. He's got a contract out on him. Tony's a smart ass, and he's been ticking off the wrong people. He's like, yeah, and uh, you know, this guy's like d doing it like, uh, he's, he's selling these murders like a car sale thing. Yeah, dude, for real! If I should decide to waste Tony. I mean, couldn't I just use your gun? I don't plan on making a habit out of this. Oh, baby, you're gonna dig this action. I can tell. You've got the constitution for it. Now all you have to do is take care of some of your personal affairs, and then I can get you some more jobs. I can't do it, Lance. I mean, I may be a hooker, but I'm not a hit girl. Well then, it's time you graduated. Look, there's nothing to it. Someone's all set up to take the rap for Tony's death. So he basically convinces her to become a hit girl, in her fucking words. And you're gonna make money. Big bucks. How much money? Enough to get my body out of Hawk? There'll be no more dirty old men for you. Except one. Me. <laughs> and she basically asks to move in. Lance, can I move in with you? And George is you know, fine he's, with this. He's like, you know, he's like, you're here all the time anyway. <laughs> sure. Hey, why not? Look, you spend most of your time here anyways when you're not going to school or out there doing your thing with those dirty old men. And then it cuts to um, Kim learning how to fucking shoot. You know, and she shoots the cannon, and George and GW's fucking through it with that. He was like, Bear! you know. <laughs> hey, all right. So it cuts to Tony in a parking garage. And you're like, oh, so this is when it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. 
So Kim comes out, says some shit. Hi, Tony. Hey, Kim, baby. Oh, what the hell are you doing here? I got a message for you. Yeah, uh, I came to tell you you're not wanted anymore. Huh? This is gonna be a pleasure, baby. And then shoots him in the fucking stomachy chest area, and he fucking like spins around and lands on the car and just stays like that. Doesn't even fall to the <laughs> ground. Just kick. Man, he was he was like his whole front was you know all had sticky glue. It's like right. a video game, like you know whenever you fucking shoot somebody in a video game and they stick to a fucking wall, all yeah. weird. And they're like, Arr. and then they jiggle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love I love when half their bodies inside the oh, like in a building and yeah. half sides. <laughs> It's like, oh, God, that's so creepy! You know, because they're like, ah, 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 ah. like, oh my god, there's ghosts in the machine. <laughs> so blah, blah, fucking blah. George W. gives her a fucking car as payment. Now when do I get paid? Right now, come on! George doll, happy motoring. Lands, it's super! You're a super, honey. And gives her her next job, like, immediately. It's like this jewelry store fucking owner. Jewelry. Half the car's for last night. The other half's for the next job. What job? There's a guy down on Elm Street who runs a jewelry shop. He owes heavy, and he's run out of warnings. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, so, like, he's just turning into a killing machine. Yeah, dude. So we cut to Kim meeting the fucking jewelry outside of like his store and stuff as he talks to him and I still don't see what you want from me sis well, like I said I uh, I've heard so much about your charms you game for a little game you kidding well, that's an offer hard to resist then don't when can we meet you're serious she basically just like, I give you the poon. He's like, really? He, she's like, <laughs> meet me yeah. at High Point. Meet me at High Point. He's like, damn. You know where High Point is? Yeah. Why don't you meet me there tomorrow morning, early? I got to go to school afterwards. Okay. Okay, see you then. So they went up, he gets up, the same thing, walks up all like, hello. Through the flowers, and she's like, bow, she's shoots him in the a, fucking head. She's wearing the greatest magnum, magnum. <laughs> magnum <laughs> P.I. Magnum P.I. Yeah. Uh, magnum condoms P.I. So like, fucking. Shoots him in the head. Yeah. Bloop. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Did she even like get naked? She was just like. No. Do you? Yeah. She's like, I ain't even fucking around this time. There's no more rolling around in the hay with these fuckers. So blah, blah, fucking blah. Donaldson tells Kim that she's getting called into the principal's office. What is it this time, Mr. Donaldson? This concerns you. It's from the principal's office. Mr. Elmhurst wants to see you first thing in the morning. What for? He hasn't been fooled by these grades you've been getting. You can screw the teachers, but you can't screw the school. Wanna bet? That deaf old bastard should have been retired 20 years ago. So, she goes to the principal's office <laughs> to get called out for her grades because the principal obviously knows she's fucking all the male teachers. Right. And the principal looks like goddamn Dobby from Harry Potter. Dude, and Principal Dobby is old as balls. You know, he's shaking his How the fuck would he know anything? I don't, th you know what I mean? But somehow he knows. You know, he's like, I don't know what you're doing with your teachers. Or blah, 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 blah. I'm like, she's getting down. Well, he starts like, you know, getting all pissed off. So pissed off that he almost has a fucking heart attack. Don't play games with me, Miss Bentley. I know all the tricks. I've heard them all and I've seen them all. And don't delude yourself into thinking that you, you, that you, hmm. So he fucking gets his nitro pills and fucking takes them and he calms down kind of, but we still look like he's going to fucking die. Right. And the whole time he's, you know, he's asking her about like, you know, When's your gonna, mother? When can I call your mother? No, You're go to your house. Wa he wants to go to her house. Right. That means expulsion, Miss Bentley. But first I'd like to discuss the situation with your mother. When can I see her? She works in the daytime, sir. It would have to be at night. Tonight? That'll be fine. 
about uh, when would be the best time tonight. Any time after eight. And uh, tell me, uh, when do you eat? After eight o'clock, okay? I'll be fine. Not you. Uh, might tell your mother to expect me. And meet up with his mother. He's like, what time was she back? She's like, she's chopping or whatever. She was saying all kinds of shit. Yeah. And so like, he's like, what time do you eat? And she's like, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And then he, yeah, but whatever this that. And then it cuts to the next fucking that night that you know Kim's mom's going out in a fucking curtain dress. It looks like she's wearing a goddamn curtain. You look great. Is it a big occasion? The monthly dance. Who knows, maybe I'll meet some cavalier gentleman. Jeez, listen to you. A good-looking woman going to places where they have nothing but old fuddy-duddies. So she's going out to her dance thing and just by, you know, so she won't be there for yeah, whenever mom, fucking Dobby shows up. Mom wants to get down, you know what I mean? So, like, so yeah, so Dobby shows up, old as balls, you know, and she's like, oh, can I take your coat? May I take your coat? That'd be funny. Your coat? Oh, look, uh, no, I, I'll only be a short... Time. Uh, He's like, no, nah, I don't know. She's like, Woof, give me your fucking coat. So, so she takes his coat and then takes his fucking pills from his coat. Right. <clears throat> Will you excuse me for a minute? You I'll be right back. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Goes to the bathroom and fucking flushes them. And then basically fucking strips down and gives him a heart attack with yeah. her boobs. Please, whatever it is, here, uh, you stop this nonsense right now. I, I don't I see any nonsense, Mr. Elmhurst, unless, of course, you can't do anything about it. Is that the problem, huh? My my pills and uh, my, my coat. My pills, please, please. Get yeah, pretty much. She holds him down. He's going. No, I'm too old for boobs. <laughs> so he's having his heart attack. Right. He crawls across the floor ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. Gets to his coat, searches for his pills for a fucking minute. Realizes they're gone. Looks over at her. Falls down. Grr. And this whole time, you know, she's just watching. Yeah, with her boobs out. Like, so yeah. What's up? So he's laying on the ground, fucking dying. She says this. Don't I deserve an A now? Sir. And then the, his POV sees her fucking boobs and her face at an extremely weird angle. They yeah, were looking at her right. boobs. It made her boobs look weird. Like her tan lines on her boobs and the angle made them look really fucking bizarre, but you won't be able to see that. Oh god. Bizarre boobs. And then yeah. he dies. Yeah, just like that. So at least all he got he got to see boobs before he died. Yeah. It's not like it was a total loss. And then Kim tells KMRGW about Killing Dobby. You know, I don't know if he was more terrified of dying or disappointed because he couldn't grab a handful. Christ, Kim, it sure sounds raunchy. Oh, come on. I did him a favor. When the doctor came, he said he'd had four previous heart attacks. Is that any way to live? I still don't understand why. Let's just say he was a thorn. I'm going to graduate from that school. And I'm gonna make it at the top of my class. And he's like, man, cool, see, man. Let's go on a trip, see, yeah. Let's go to Tahiti, talking about killing, man. How about Tahiti? You're kidding! No, why would I kid? Tahiti? Why not? Sounds great! When do we leave? I don't know. How about after you graduate? Oh, Lance, I'm gonna get the most fantastic tan ever! So blah, blah, fucking blah, Kim goes home to pack. And Mom uh, comes in. And I, dude, she, like, <laughs> this looked like it was on a Maury Povich, uh, you know, or, or Dr. Phil, because she went all crazy. Well, she ends up mom. slapping her. What are you doing? It looks like I'm packing, doesn't it? Don't get flippin' with me. And then she starts going off about, like, you know, what happened with Dobby here? The doctor already told you. He had a heart attack. Well, what was he doing here? 
He came to tell you about the great progress I was making in school. And she was like, ah, shut fuck up, mom. Old bastard came, fucking tried to grab some titties, had a heart attack, boom. So whatever she says, she's leaving. Gone to Haiti. I won't be back, and where I'm going is none of your business. Now you listen to me, young lady. I'm still your mother, and I have a right to know. Do me a favor, mother, okay? Shove it! So blah blah fucking blah, we cut to Kmart GW and Kim, and Kmart GW wants Din Din. You hungry? Who wouldn't be after all that moving? Well, then, why don't you start fixing Din Din? Din Din? I thought you were taking me out for Din Din. Did I say that? You said that, and I said I'd be real good to you later if you did. Real good. Well, in that case, I better take you out. <laughs> but that ends up leading to more role fucking. Oh, I know, dude. I love how he said that though. He's like, oh, get you, dude, dude. And then blah blah fucky blah. GW wants Kim to kill Harry Ingolstein, Ingolstrom, Augustine, Gruppenstein. I don't know. And that's dad. Right. Just say that. <laughs> you hear of Harry Ingersoll? Harry Ingersoll? You want me to waste Terry Ingersoll? That's right, baby, that's right. Oh, that's beautiful. Justice. Sugar Daddy himself. Hey, what the hell has gotten into you anyway? <laughs> Never mind, Lance. It's a long story. <laughs> so, but she's fucking scared, so fucking GW has to do a lot of fucking selling oh, to yeah. convince her to actually fucking do this. Look, wasting him is so easy, it hurts. You do it at his beach house. That's where he meets his chicks. No one will even know it's you he's meeting there. It's a simple routine thing. All it takes is a phone call. But he carries a gun, doesn't he? I mean, he must carry a gun. I don't give a fuck if he's carrying an atom bomb. He won't be suspicious and he won't have a chance to use it. There's absolutely nothing that can go wrong. So she's on the case. Yeah, she goes to his fucking house. And he's bloodthirsty. And he's all way. old and creepy in here. Well, how do you like it? Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad. We eat the cream of the crop. Perfection. Boy, are we gonna have fun. Uh, don't drink it, baby? No, thanks. I never mix business with booze. You're a real pro. Go ahead and have one if you'd like. Yeah, I think I will. Celebrate what's coming up. Yeah, Harry. Big surprises ahead. Hey, uh, hey, check this package out for an old man. Well, here's to you. Here's to you, Harry. This is goodbye, Harry. And then she ends up shooting him in the stomachy chest area because it looks like it's first in the stomach, but then it's up here. Right. Well, and he he's, reacted here. And he fucking dies. Right. So as he's dying, Kevin and Annette and their surfing buddies are pulling up. <laughs> so Annette's going Bad timing. up to the fucking house. Notices her car. Oh, yeah, and sees Kim coming out holding a gun. Well, she wasn't holding a gun. She was just in there holding her purse, looking all suspicious and shit. And then she started to get a little closer. That's when she put out the gun. And, and shoots like, her in the Bang. stomach. And she dies instantly. Everybody dies because instantly. Because Kevin and friends run up and check on her, say she's dead. She's dead. You two stay here. Neil, come on. And then Kevin's like, I'll get her. No, they go inside to find Annette's dad oh, dead yeah, and say right. this. Jesus Christ. What a crazy broad. She's gone insane. Quick, call the police. Uh, I'm going to go after her. Poorly delivered wonderfulness. That was awesome. And then it cuts to Kevin and Kim Chase scene with this music on it. The people 
people's court fucking theme. I love that shit. But like that fucking chase scene went on for. Dude, they're, they're running down fucking st- like so many stairs. Like you thought the fucking master demon chase scene downstairs was a lot of stairs? No, this is a lot of stairs, and this looks treacherous as fuck. I did. They're running down like a straight fucking thing. I of definitely stairs. would have fell down them shits. Dude, yeah, I was it Kevin running in flip flops or something? I think so. They're running downstairs. It's not safe. But dude, and then they're still running downhill for like ever. And then across the fucking beach for fucking ever while Kevin's running all weird with his head up like this and he's all hunched over and it. He's just running all fucking I, weird. I want to get rid of fucking steps all together. I just want to have like an incline system, but it's just going to be like a chair, but if the whole chair is going to be nothing but one big pillow. He's laying that fucking shit that will take you down a hill and then just flops you back out. You're like, oh, thank you, Billy. You know, you don't have to worry about no steps, nothing. You just flop into that thing. It'll take you down the stairs. So Kim <laughs> hides behind the rock, pulls out her gun, and is talking to fucking Kevin. <laughs> the rock is talking to Kevin? No. Oh. She, Kim, is oh, talking I think to Kevin. Like hide by rock. But it's some pretty great rock. shit done in the fucking West. Yeah. This is crazy. You're right, you know. A million laughs. You think this has anything to do with you or jealousy? No, Kim, listen. You've got it all screwed up. Let's talk, huh? Well, now you want to talk, huh? Now you have time for me. Yeah, uh, that thing with the net. Listen, she was just a... She was a... Jesus, Kim. Tell me more, Kevin. I love it when you squirm. Bitch goddamn stupid fucking broad and then she's about to shoot fucking kevin when the cops shoot her from a cliff this is a movie the rock's not in That's so she was shot in the back dies instantly is laying in the surf this very loungy very loungy muzak song comes up and plays over top of the credits <laughs> like I said, the music in this is fucking bizarre. Dead. It's like, it, it did not fit for a lot of the, lot of the movie. Because hell, there were right. scenes where the music was very wa- heartwarming, but it didn't fit the fucking movie. No. Very depressing ending. You're like, you're like oh, yay. That sucked. Most that people died. So, I mean, <laughs> most said, everybody died. Principal Dobby died. Everybody died. Well, Dobbleson, or Dogelson, or Donaldson, Donaldson. he didn't die, Kevin didn't die, Bob Newhart didn't die, die. they all got sex from crazy Kim Hooker student slash hit girl. Look at that, they all got away with it. On that note, for Gutter a Bird, this has been another one of... I think we just gave a bunch of teachers ideas, they're like, hmm, now I know what to do with my case. Worst movies on YouTube! We'll see you next fucking time. I'll just time. get her to start doing murders and get her to go crazy. And then it won't be my fault anymore. My fault anymore. It's my my fault. <laughs> That's a responsible and my fault at the same time. The real fault. So yes, I enjoyed this one. Good movie, good movie. Good movie, good movie. Well, it's a complete opposite of a good movie, but yes, it fun is. movie, fun movie. Right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. right, 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 right. Okay, I'm done. Oh, I gotta pee. Sitting on my bladder. Um, that might be a fucking problem, dude. You know what you did in the parking lot was really uncool. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I'm talking about this. That's what you gave Annette for no reason at all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm giving you this for plenty of reasons. Yeah, man, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a long one, I have a feeling. I mean, probably right now, they're at the, you know, we're at the end of the video, and they've been sitting here for close to an hour, if not, who knows how fucking long they've been sitting here, and they're still, some of them are still sitting there watching us just up here floating in the corner, and I paid attention, the credits are on this side. Good job. Because, you know, now that we were stupid, we couldn't even tell where our credits were. Yeah, I know. But anyway, it doesn't matter, let's start this, what I assume is going to be an epic. Piece of shit.
shit. How could you ever have gone around with a piece of shit like that? She's just trying to prove something, okay? Don't let her bug you, huh? Come on, let's go, huh? She's proving something, all right. She's proving she's a piece of shit. Annette, will you forget about her already? Yeah, okay, but she's still a piece of shit. <laughs>